Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I remember visiting New Orleans, uh, Nolens, a few years ago, and, uh, I don't know, they must have been having some big party and everything, and everyone kept yelling, SHOW US YOUR TIPS! SHOW US YOUR TIPS! And I was like, dude, how do they know I had all these tips and tricks? And so I was yelling back, CONTROL C COPIES! And they were looking at me like, what? SHOW US YOUR TIPS! I don't know how much more tips you want! And they kept throwing beads at me. So apparently in Nolens, they love tips and beads. All right, fine. You want more tips? Great. Got a top five things to remember about Linux. And this was submitted by Ben Otten, who also happens to be a blogger on LockerGnome. Uh, LockerGnome.com forward slash echo link. That is his blog over there. And uh, thank you for blogging on uh, my blog platform. We're, we are hopefully improving it over time. And don't worry, we're about to uh, really accelerate it. I'm kind of excited about what uh, a few of us have been working on for a while. I'll announce that at some point in the near future. And then we'll definitely talk about a lot more Linux and a lot more about blogging. Um, so the top five things to remember about Linux, and whether or not you do live in Nolens like beads or tips. Hello, Echo Link here, and I've been watching you a lot on your recent top five list theme with your show. That's right, it's kind of a theme. It's a meme. Send me your top five list before, you know, I finish this one, of course. Uh, I've been enjoying it very much, so now I've decided to write a top five list of my own that you can read on the show. I will also post this to my blog on Lockernome. Oh, there we go. But before I read the list here, I would like to express my thanks to you and Lockernome for allowing me to use Lockernome as a stepping stone into a new career. Lockernum has given me the ability to start in a way that I couldn't have before. I tried a few free blog sites, a lot of other platforms and schemes, but soon realized that I couldn't do it with, a, with finances being the way they are at the time. I was very happy the other day when I opened my Google AdSense account and I saw that I had made some money. Anyway, Chris, I wanted to give you regards and thanks once again. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I I'm getting to the Linux tips, don't worry. But the point is this is for geeks. Um, we split AdSense revenue automatically. We flip between your account and our account. So he makes money. That's awesome. I love it when people make money with blogging. Okay. Top five things to remember about Linux. I swear I'm getting there. Number one, Linux is not Windows or nor is it Mac at OS X. It requires a learning curve as anything else. New users need to take a lot of their Windows and Mac habits and set them aside when they use Linux for the first time. Keep an open mind. Two, there are well-developed open source software applications that are available for Linux. Just because the Windows or OS X version doesn't exist on Linux doesn't mean there isn't an application available that would complete the same task. Remember, you might find an application that you like a lot better than what you've been used to. Number three, choose the Linux distribution that is right for you. Just because it's the most popular doesn't mean it's the right choice. There are many Linux distributions that have been developed for certain functions. For example, maybe you want a good Linux distro to create media, and then you might want to look at MIDI Ubuntu or Studio 64. If you need server functionality, you might want distros such as Ubuntu Server or Red Hat. For those of you who are just looking for a good desktop distribution to do daily tasks, there are distros such as PC Linux OS, Ubuntu, Fedora, OpenSUSE, Simply Meepus. Me is it Meepus or Mepus? I've never heard that one uh, said aloud, etc. Another example is for those of you running an older hardware, you might want a lighter weight distribution such as Zubuntu or XU, X Ubuntu, Meepus. <laughs> Just sounds so crazy if I say that aloud, Meepus. <laughs> if it is Meepus Anti X or Mint Linux. Once again, choose what's right for you. Remember, that is the wonderful thing about Linux. It offers a selection choice that cannot be rivaled by any other OS on the planet. Very true. It's open source, which means it's built by the community. Number four, there's always a fix to something in Linux. Just because it doesn't work doesn't mean it's broken. Now, I'm not talking geekiness here. There are a lot of times when a problem arises, such as applications not working because it's missing a certain other application or a file that it needs. The best solution to this is going on Google or to the distribution's forums, support, or wiki pages. Here, you can find a lot of good information on how to fix these issues. Five, lastly, and most importantly, when it comes to Linux, it requires patience. Don't give up. There will always be days when you get so upset with Linux that you want to just uninstall it. 
take time, relax, and sleep on it. I have figured out many issues just by taking time away from my Linux machine and just thinking about it for a bit. Fair enough. And I think for, well, say from a couple of those points, that's pretty applicable uh, to the way you have to deal with any operating system, even if it happens to be Windows Vista. Uh, now, if I, if I were to say which one's more user-friendly, Windows Vista is more user-friendly than Linux. But I think, more importantly, Linux is an amazing learning experience. Uh, if it works out of the box, great. But if it doesn't, then you get to learn how to learn. Uh, doing research, sharing information back with the community, uh, blogging about it. And heck, you know, I, I'm sure when now when, when Ben, or I guess Echo Link is his handle on Locker Gnome, um, now when he finds information and a solution, he's going to blog about it, and he's making money through blogging on Locker Gnome. Uh, so it's very cool. Uh, I'm sorry, I know that's like blatant plugs, blatant plugs, blatant plugs, but hey, if I can figure out how to make money with Linux, come on. Anyway, thanks again, Ben, for the top five list, and I appreciate your support on Locker Gnome as well. Uh, if you've got a top five list, uh, Linux-related, software-related, tech-related or not, I would love to share it with the rest of the community. Uh, even if you've blogged about it anywhere else, I'd love to hear what's, uh, what your area of expertise happens to be, especially if it's not tech. Uh, my email address, again, is chris at perillo.com. My blog is chris.perillo.com. And where you can join us chatting, and some people uh, like talking about Linux throughout the day, uh, other people games, uh, some other people yet YouTube, and then eBay. You can just name it, we're talking about something. And uh, where you can find us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, is at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.